Okay, this is a brief introduction to the HRP module for OL Monitor and uh, the HRP report if you're not familiar with it. Uh, perhaps this looks familiar. This is how it appears in SunQuest. Um, when you pull up HRP you get this list of uh, options. At this time only selection number five, orders not processed is supported um, but if anybody's interested in any of these error logs or something else it should not be too hard to add those since most of the hard work has been done with the HRP so what's on the HRP log a lot of stuff um, orders not processed you get uh, let's see we've got a PSCB here whatever that is this is an example file sent to me by uh, someone uh, BCNT assume that's a glucose maybe that's a blood culture here pH so all of these MRSA UA I assume are nurse collected or restricted tests that wouldn't normally appear on the pending log or the overdue log and uh, so for that reason it could be very useful so let's take a look over here in OL monitor how this is going to look and how you will activate this um, I've used the the new pause button here uh, added in version 186 pretty handy to keep oil monitor from trying to launch smart term or do any of its automated activities while you're fooling around and trying to set stuff up so that's pretty handy so let's just uh, how do we activate HRP let's go into options there's a new tab here called HRP click it and this is how you enable it as you can see you can use see the HRP only report you can see it alongside OL and just to confuse things we have the OL only option here this is uh, just in case you accidentally enable this and get confused and really wanted just OL monitor it's hard to explain but anyway let's do HRP if you have messed with the PL module you see that you'll remember that you can set a range of time for the report to search back and to search forward you can see that I've set it to look for orders within the last day and up to two hours in the future uh, POD here you have the three options when you're doing the orders not processed report you can go by patient location ordering location or lab department um, so you can add as many locations as you want here by clicking add so on you can just go nuts here if you like um, just get that right all right important to know what your interface number is and that's different for everybody and the interface report option is another prompt that comes up in SunQuest but unfortunately I can't show you that right now hopefully you're familiar with it already so you've got that set up and but to actually see the fields you still have to go back to the miscellaneous tab and you'll see on the display fields um, let's see since we're doing HRP only hopefully it's showing just um, <coughs> excuse me the fields that are available on the HRP report and there's a lot of them so beyond what you're used to we just can keep scrolling down here and yeah HRP has a lot of information you've got the order number uh, unique number whatever that is specimen type ordering physician, copy physician, order codes, order location, collection department, episode type, episode ID, episode account, 
OR account and comments. And from all the examples that I've seen, not all of these are populated, but your mileage may vary, you know, maybe your site uses that stuff. But yeah, you can check them all and you can see them all if you want to. So let's just go, go OK here. And let's open up our example file and have a look. All right, so this is an example of just a two line HRP report. You got your accession there, HID. Um, what do we got here? Their location. This looks like a urine culture. Somebody forgot, and whatever UAC, someone forgot to act on that one. Uh, nursery and collection department here is a lab. Anyway, you've got your order number, your location, ordering location, all this information, and even the comments line. I had a little fun with this one. Um, so, yeah, that's it in a nutshell. Um, let me see. I can't really show you here, but when you enable the HRP report, if you're running it alongside OL monitor, or I'm sorry, alongside the OL report, or then what will happen is the macro will pull the OL report first, then back out of that and return, and then pull the HRP report. And then after it's done pulling both those reports, it'll tell the oil monitor, okay, I've got new data here. And it will clear out all the data and then refresh with um, both the HRP data and the OL data. Or if you selected HRP only, just HRP. You can also throw in the pending log report. So you can have all that stuff compiled into one display which could be quite helpful and keeps you from having to look at all these different places for all this information that you probably need to be acting on at any given time. So that is it in a nutshell and just if you have any questions or comments or suggestions give me an email. It's eric at olmonitor.com. Great. Thanks for listening.